What's going on guys, it's Cobblers Vlog, back to another video. Today we're reviewing the Colchester defeat when Northampton Town lost 1-0 to Colchester, a penalty from Luke Norris. Uh, me or Matt couldn't attend the game, so we're going off Twitter reaction and of course I listened to it on the radio, so going off uh, the radio reaction. So let's get started. So overall it sounded like a really disappointing game. Um, you know, of course I couldn't attend, so I was listening on the radio uh, and it sounded sloppy, poor, not as good as we were against Swindon. Um, it sounded like David Cornell had a fantastic game, um, man of the map, they said, uh, in their opinion. So, well done, Dave. Uh, Joe Burnley apparently lacked in pace, uh, getting skinned by the winger. Um, you know, but Burnley, was transfer listed. I don't get why he's in the squad. You know, uh, Hoskins, Samuel, frustrating, Samuel, frustrating, Sam Hoskins. You know, I think nothing's going to change with the Cobbers fans. Chris Lyons, his head on the radio, looked absolutely knackered. Um, he played fantastically well against Swindon, in my opinion. Um, so, realistically, he looked, maybe looked a bit tired um, coming towards the end of the game um, against Colchester yesterday. Uh, and Andy Williams just did the same old running, same old running. Um, of course, it's really hard to review the game uh, when I wasn't there, but, you know, it sounded like on the radio we weren't up to scratch, we weren't good enough, um, and we've got to improve. You know, um, if we're a team pushing, we've got to be up there. You know, of course, the question is now all over Twitter, all over social media, Keith Curl in, Keith Curl out. You know, in my opinion, uh, he's got to be in, got to give him game. We can't keep sacking managers, bringing new ones in, sacking managers, keep bringing new ones in, because they'll want their own players, their own squad. We've got a fantastic squad, um, but you know, that end product, I don't know what it is. Um, but, you know, I'd give it November time, and Keith Curl will be out if his results stay like this. So now on Twitter reaction, of course, this is basically what I'm using today, because I wasn't there. Um... So, um, Charles Guetta tweeted saying we should never sign Carl in the first place, basically solely on his comments before we thumped his old Carlisle side. If the genius of Wilder surprises you, you're an idiot. That was a solid reason not to sign him, even before considering his very average career. <clears throat> that fan is clearly not happy with Keith Carl. You know, it, it's a tough time for Gobbers fans, you know, because you just want uh, to get, you know, three points. Uh, every game, especially with his team, uh, and it's just frustrating to watch. Um, not us getting three points, you know, but it's frustrating. But we've got to keep staying as a Northampton Town fan. Uh, Matt Cleaver said, Well, back from Colchester, have to say, NTFC, we look poor team, no pace, build up is too slow, and we're relying on Adams too much. This is going to be a long off season, can't see us scoring 30 goals this season. Yep, you know, I get that. Um, it's, it's, yeah, no fans aren't happy. Um, it is a lot of getting the ball to Nicky Adams, get the ball to Nicky Adams. Um, so, you know, it has to be, um, you know, that is how we play. You know, Dan Mould said, so frustrating, just can't score goals. We can't keep letting teams have all of the possession in the hope we nick a goal. It was a great one at Swindon, but can't see as many, winning many if we keep playing like that. So not happy with Keith Curl. And the final one from James Daly said, so the hottest I've ever been at a football match today and one of the most frustrating matches at at that, absolutely no clue what to do past the halfway line. Keith's tactic of making us hard to beat is driving the fun out of the cobblers. You know, again, <clears throat> not many fans happy with Keith Curl, um, so there may be not long left for him. So sadly, no match ratings today, of course, because me and Matt couldn't give our uh, opinion. Uh, it wasn't then on Twitter, I thought it would be, but sadly there isn't. Um, so, but basically, you know, not good enough by signs of things. Um, got to improve. Uh, Keith Cole is the question right now whether he's here, whether he's not, um, and he hasn't got long to prove himself. I generally think he will get this sack within a couple of months if things don't change. Uh, next up for the Cobblers is Northampton Town versus Arsenal and the 20 Wattons <coughs> in the Checker Trade on Tuesday night. I'll be reviewing uh, and reviewing the game, sorry, and previewing it. Uh, of course, it's quite hard to review um, the game because, of course, we can't really review Arsenal and the 20 Wattons, but. You know, thank you guys for watching. Um, of course, it's nearly the end of the month, so me and Matt will do our monthly review. Not going to be good because, of course, we haven't won many games. But, you know, thanks to you guys for your support recently. It's been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, make sure you like, comment, uh, and subscribe. Make sure you comment your score prediction for the Arsenal game. And make sure for hashtag NTFC if you want to be in the next video. So, ta-da.